Hi, I'm Dr. Abhishek Mangeshika, a specialist in endometriosis surgery. In today's video, we're diving into a topic that's revolutionizing how we approach complex surgical cases, robotic surgery. Whether you're someone living with endometriosis, a medical professional, or simply curious about advancements in surgery, this video is for you. Endometriosis is a condition that can deeply impact quality of life. Surgical intervention, often necessary in advanced cases, has traditionally been performed via laparoscopy or open surgery. However, advancements in robotic surgery have opened new doors, offering unprecedented precision, flexibility and outcomes. This isn't just about technology, it's about providing better care for patients like you. Let's start with the basics. Robotic surgery is a type of minimally invasive surgery where the surgeon controls a robotic system to perform the operation. It is important to clarify that the robot doesn't operate on its own. Instead, it's an advanced tool that enhances the surgeon's ability to perform delicate and complex procedures with greater accuracy. It's not a magical instrument where it will make a bad surgeon a good one, but it will definitely help make a good surgeon better. The robotic system typically includes a camera arm and mechanical arms with surgical instruments attached. The surgeon sits at a console nearby using controls to guide the instruments. The system translates the surgeon's hand movements into smaller precise movements inside the human body. Now you might be wondering, why go through all the trouble of using a robot? The answer lies in numerous advantages this technology brings. Number one, precision. Robotic systems allow for extremely precise movements, which is crucial in endometriosis surgery. The robotic instruments can maneuver in ways that human hands simply can't, making it possible to remove endometriosis tissue more thoroughly while preserving healthy tissue like nerves and blood vessels. Compared to standard straight stick laparoscopy, the robotic arms can bend and articulate, making it safer when operating in difficult to reach areas like around the pelvic nerves or large blood vessels in the pelvis and the abdomen. Number two, enhanced visualization. The robotic system provides a high definition, three-dimensional view of the surgical area, significantly better than what we see through the naked eye or through a traditional laparoscope. This enhanced visualization is vital for identifying and treating the often microscopic lesions of the disease. More importantly, the difference between robotic 3D versus laparoscopic 3D is binocular, as in the robotic scope has two different cameras within it, one for each eye, whereas the 3D laparoscope splits the image and projects it onto a screen and the surgeon has to wear 3D glasses and it's more like the 3D we see at the movies. Close, but not as good. Number three, minimally invasive. Robotic surgery is minimally invasive in nature, meaning smaller incisions, less pain post-operatively, and quicker recovery times compared to traditional open surgery. For patients, this means getting back to normal life sooner. Number four is greater dexterity. The robotic instruments have a greater range of motion than the human wrist, enabling the surgeon to navigate through complex anatomy with ease, which is especially important in endometriosis surgery where delicate structures are involved. Not every case of endometriosis requires robotic surgery, so it is essential to understand when it's most beneficial. Robotic surgery is particularly useful in the following cases. Severe or advanced endometriosis. When endometriosis involves the bowel, bladder, or other critical structures, robotic surgery allows for a more precise and comprehensive removal of the disease. In my practice, it is reserved for low bowel nodules, diaphragm nodules, large bladder nodules, and parametrial nodules affecting pelvic nerves. It is also helpful when doing large adenomyosis surgery and reconstructing the uterus. Number two is for complex anatomy. Patients with unusual or complex pelvic anatomy, whether due to previous surgeries, extensive disease, or other factors, may benefit from the increased control and precision that robotic surgery provides. From the patient's perspective, robotic surgery often means a smoother experience and better outcomes. Here's why. Many patients can go home the same day or within 24 hours of the procedure. Obviously, with more complex procedures, the hospital stay is longer so that they can be monitored, but the return to normal activity is far quicker. Smaller incisions mean less pain and less visible scarring, which is not only a physical benefit, but can also improve psychological well-being. Most patients can return to their normal activities more quickly than after traditional surgery, which is a significant consideration for those managing a busy life or family responsibilities. Studies have shown that patients undergoing robotic surgery for endometriosis often experience better symptom relief and lower recurrence rates. In a recent publication, it stated that robotic surgery for endometriomas or chocolate cysts causes far less damage to the ovaries than traditional laparoscopic surgery and that therefore will improve the fertility outcomes. While robotic surgery offers many benefits, it's not without risks. It's important to have a balanced view. 
Potential risks include, number one, technical failures. Though rare, the robotic system could malfunction, which might require switching to a traditional laparoscopy or open surgery to finish the procedure. In the newer generations, there are many fail-safes which are now in place, and that is not really a problem anymore. Number two is longer operating times. Of course, the earlier one is in one's learning curve, in some cases, the setup and execution of robotic surgery can take longer than traditional conventional surgeries, though this is often offset by quicker recovery times. It truly depends on the experience of the entire OR team and the ability to synchronize and coordinate the docking and the undocking of the robot. Our center has the highest volumes of robotic surgery in the city and the team is very experienced and quick in preparing the OR so we don't lose time in turning the OR around for a robotic surgery. Cost considerations. Robotic surgery can be more expensive than other forms of surgery due to the cost of technology and the need for specialized training for surgeons. This is the same problem laparoscopy had at its inception and until the use becomes more widely adopted, that will eventually lead to lowering of costs. Discussing these factors with your surgeon can help you determine if robotic surgery is the right choice for you and your specific condition. Now, let's take a moment to address some common myths and misconceptions about robotic surgery. A common misconception is that the robot performs the surgery independently. In reality, the surgeon is always in full control. The robot simply translates the surgeon's movements into more precise actions. Remember, a fool with a tool will always remain a fool. So the robot will not make up for the surgeon's skill and experience or lack of. Some believe that using a robot increases the risk of complications. Contrary, in truth, the robotic surgery often reduces risks such as infection or excessive blood loss due to its minimally invasive nature. While robotic surgery is excellent for complex cases, it can be also used for less severe cases to ensure thorough treatment and faster recovery. Not all surgeons have the same level of expertise with robotic systems. It's crucial to choose a surgeon with specific experience in both robotic surgery and endometriosis treatment to achieve the best outcomes. One final point that's crucial to emphasize is the importance of the surgeon's experience. Robotic surgery, like any other surgical technique, is only as effective as the person behind the console. Ensuring that your surgeon has extensive experience with both endometriosis and robotic systems is key to achieving the best possible outcomes. In summary, robotic surgery represents a significant advancement in the treatment of endometriosis, offering improved precision, visualization, and patient outcomes. It's a powerful tool in the hands of experienced surgeons, especially for complex or advanced cases. If you have any questions about robotic surgery or endometriosis in general, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'm here to help and would love to hear your thoughts. If you're considering surgery for endometriosis, I encourage you to discuss all your options with your healthcare provider, including whether or not robotic surgery might be the right choice for you. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video with anyone who might find it helpful. Together, we can spread awareness and empower those living with endometriosis to make informed decisions about their health.